All right, hello everyone, and good morning and good evening for those who live in uh, in far Asia. Uh, this is a, going to be a short video, and it's kind of uh, I find it a kind of, of a comedy. Uh, you know that all the Muslims are so upset because uh, of the decision of Trump. Uh, so the Muslims uh, they decide uh, to do uh, revenge from America. And they announce war on us. But I don't know how many of you speak Arabic, and you can read the title with me. This is a guy who is uh, in charge of all the drugs and medicine in Egypt. He said, we are going to launch war on the American Viagra. <laughs> You know, I mean, <laughs> the Muslims will stop buying Viagra for two weeks. And supposedly that will destroy America, according to this guy. If we stop buying Viagra, America economy is going to be destroyed because we are number one customer in the world. Who is number one customer for Viagra in the world? The Muslims. Because they suffer from disability in everything. Even in sex, they cannot do it. And look, he have the Quran picture behind him. Do you see the Quran? I mean, I was wondering where he got his wisdom from. Like, first, when you hear this news, you ask yourself, like, this guy, he graduated from university and suppose he's a doctor. And where he got his wisdom from? Look, look, here we go. The wisdom is coming from here. You see it? This is the Quran, and now everything is explained. I mean, this guy obviously he got his wisdom from the book of Allah, otherwise, he would not say such a smart thing like this. And not only that, there is many like now in Twitter, the Muslims they are launching hashtag be called the American Viagra. I'm serious. <laughs> You know, uh, when I say, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not insulting when I say Muslims are stupid. I mean, what what's wrong with those people? And if this is the, educa the educated one, and this is the guy, he is a doctor, and he is the head of the Department of Drugs in Egypt. Like this is guy is a, like not, it's not just like a, a one who send who who sell falafel in the street who have not even high school high school. This guy is a doctor. And how he is a threat in America? I mean, we you know we are in trouble, man. The, the Muslim they will stop buying Viagra. Brother, are you serious? Yes, Allahu Akbar. We are in trouble. Abdul, the question is why you Muslims are number one people who buy Viagra? What's wrong with you? You blame the kuffar for everything, but now we found that the kuffar is the one who fixing the problem of your penises. It is the kuffar who make you have more babies, otherwise your penis will not function. Mm. I remember when Muhammad he said, "I was the most weak person between all mankind, and I invoke my Allah. <coughs> I invoke Allah, and He sent me a dish of uh, uh, it's like shish kebab. It's called al kufait and I ate it, and I get the power of forty men. And even in the hadith of the Shia." It says that Muhammad he shared the dish with Fatima and Ali. <laughs> Fatima she ate from the same dish. <laughs> so now Fatima she got the power of forty men in sex too. <laughs> oh man, Oof. what kind of a hot Fatima she is. Oof. So I'm really worried. I mean, this is a very serious plan, and the American. I think Trump right now he is meeting in the White House. With the head, the generals of the army, and uh, you know, he have a nuke, uh, 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 like uh, a case in his hand, and they are like they are screaming and they are like fighting each other. How how this happened? And you know, the the uh, uh, the senators they are saying to Trump, it's because of you. 
it's because of you the American they stop buying our Viagra why you do that and Trump he says hold on hold on I thought the Muslim don't have penises no more since their prophet himself don't have one <laughs> Yesterday, the Muslims the, from Hezbollah, they were burning cars in the front of the American embassy. But hold on, all those cars are owned by Muslims anyway. I mean, what, what's wrong with those Muslims? I mean, do you see how stupid they are? They are burning cars, they are burning stores around, savage, stupid, dump. Is it, this is your, your area? I mean, you're burning cars for who? So I really, I really appreciate the Muslims stop using the Viagra. It's a very smart move, and um, I, I was, I was thinking about everything you Muslims possibly can do, but I never thought about this one. To be honest with you, I mean, you beat, you did beat me. You see, with your intelligence and your, uh, your smart, like th thinking, you over, uh, uh, like uh, we never thought about this. I mean, who in the world can think that the Muslims are going to stop buying a Viagra? And this is from Al Watan News. This is Egyptian news. So anyway, you know, I'm, I really encourage all the Muslims. Uh, and look, he is saying that to who? I mean, I'm unbelievable. He's talking to this girl about the Viagra, uh, advertising as usual. I mean, what we can say? Advertising. You go to a Muslim website, you find one thousand advertising. So, I don't know what to say, man. I mean, I am so. It's amazing. Uh, it, it's just a short video. I wanted to share this with you, so you can, guys, you can get ready, because there is a good news for other nations who buy Viagra. If you are a customer for a Viagra, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> but today you are lucky day. You're lucky day. Because the Muslims will be caught the Viagra and the price will drop down. <laughs> this guy he said that in the last six months we we spent four hundred fifty millions for our penises. Unbelievable, four hundred fifty million. This is just only in Egypt. This is only in Egypt, and he's saying that the Gulf countries they spend a lot more. So, yeah, this is not only a doctor, he is the head. He is the head of the Department of Pharmacies in Egypt. He is like what they call the elected uh, by the pharmacies, uh, you know, group, whatever they call them. So, this guy is not just, uh, look, the Quran is behind him. Do you see the Quran? Do you see the Quran? I mean, this guy, obviously, he is getting all the wisdom he has from this book. And in the beginning, I was like astonished. I said, wow, he come with this. I mean, look at this. You know, the Muslim, they remind me when the when uh, in, in Netherlands, they draw the picture of Muhammad in the cartoon. Uh, the, the Muslims, they decide to stop buying the cheese of Netherlands and the milk. And then second days, the women, they start saying, they say, do we have another milk? <laughs> do we have another cheese to buy? <laughs> All what we have is from there. What do you mean be caught? We have to feed our babies, you idiots. <laughs> be cut, be cut their milk. Unbelievable. All right, Abdul. I'm so glad that you came to a final decision. Like yesterday, we heard that the Prime Minister or the Minister of Defense in Malaysia. And by the way, Malaysia is not a Muslim country. You know, the, you see what Muslims they do? They are about 60% of the population and they overcome the rest. And they forced them into doing stupid things. So this guy, he said, "We our armed forces is ready for any possibility in Jerusalem." I mean, Abdul, what's wrong with you? You don't even have an army. What is the size of your army, and what you can do? Pakistan, who have nukes, don't dare to say that. Egypt population is one hundred million. Don't they, don't dare to say that, and they are the neighbors of the of the Israeli. What's wrong with you, stupid people, man? I love it. I love it. Anyway, if I am a if I am a Muslim, for sure I say to you, I will be so proud. It's so proud to know that we, as a Muslims, brothers, sisters, we are number one buyers of Viagra in the world. 
and now we are threatening America to stop buying Viagra and I'm very sure a Trump he will reconsider his decision because the Muslims from now on they will not buy Viagra for the coming 24 hours thank you very much for watching we will be again on air at 4 30 p.m. this is just a short video for comedy download and share and tell your friends about what we do this is a Christian Prince and see you in a few hours from now again God bless thank you very much